everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a slightly different video and it is my evening essentials and this is number two, I actually did the first one I think this time last year so I'll link that up below and you can go and compare but basically um, I'm going to talk you through all of the things that I really love doing when I come home in the evening and I have like a proper chill out and back when I lived at home these things used to happen really really regularly and I'd come home and have a good pamper and have a really massive like skincare session and all of that and I don't really have the time to do that so much anymore this kind of happens like once every two weeks really and the kind of products that I use are kind of much less I don't really use as many as I used to I used to go like all out with the face masks I'd use like three face masks in kind of one one after the other and now I kind of just use one so things are kind of a lot more minimal now which I think is a lot nicer and a lot more realistic for most people so I thought that I would talk you through my kind of evening routine and all the things that I like using and the first thing I like to do immediately when I come home I have to not be in the clothes that I went to work in, I have to be in my pyjamas and at the moment I'm loving my um, pink stripy H&M pyjama top, I thought I'd wear this today for you. <laughs> and once I'm in my pyjamas I then run myself a bath and that's the thing that I like to do first, I like to get everything out of the way and just get in the bath and do all the beauty stuff so that I can sit down and have a nice chill out. I don't really use like bath bombs or bubble bath in the bath at the moment because my skin is normally so incredibly dry that I can't really use too many kind of scented products but I like to kind of sneak in a few where I can and at the moment I've just been using a little bit of the Soap and Glory Orange Jasm um, body wash which is the nicest smelling body wash ever. It smells like oranges if you couldn't have guessed and I just love it, it just smells beautiful. I think it's a slightly newer one that they've brought out because I've only kind of seen it very very recently and when I saw it all over Instagram I was like I'm having that and once I'm out the bath and I'm all kind of dried off and everything I like to wash my face I like to do this separately I don't know why I like to do it separately I just do I just really got into the habit of not washing my face in the bath over the past couple of years I used to do it all the time and yeah anyway so at the moment I've been using the Oskia Renaissance cleansing gel and I wasn't sure on this on this at first but I actually do really like it at the moment it's been much better since the weather has got warmer because I find that if you've got really really dry skin this might not be so great but when it's just like slightly drier it's perfect even though it's a gel um, cleanser it's got really nice ingredients in it and it's not kind of it's not overly gelish if that makes sense at all it's actually quite balmy and it smells like wine gums which how could you not love that? It just smells delicious and it comes out in like a peachy orangey colour which is interesting um, but I really really like this, I've been loving this quite a lot recently so there will be a re review of this coming up soon um, but yeah this is what I've been using to wash my face with and then I go in with a face mask. At the moment I've been using the Antipodes Aurum Nuka Honey Mask and I really really love this one, it's really good, I said really like a million times in the past few minutes it's great for if you've got quite dry skin, it's kind of similar to the Aesop Parsley Sea Cleansing Mask but it's not as kind of stripping, it still is quite, it's kind of moisturising but it's not like a moisture mask if that makes sense, it's just not as drying on the skin which I love and I just think that it smells delicious and it's just a very nice 10 minutes going on on your face, I just love it, it smells delicious and feels nice and all of that so I really like this one. And then the final additional skincare items that I kind of throw in are two tanning products and I've been using the Saint Tropez Gradual Tan Everyday Body Moisturiser and the Clinique Self Sun Body Tinted Lotion and I've been mixing these together because this one is a really great gradual tan but the Clinique is great for kind of like an instant hint of tint and there's nothing nicer than feeling instantly kind of like more glowy and nice so I've been using kind of these mixed together and I find that they work really really nicely. The Clinique one kind of looks like it has a little bit of shimmer when it first comes out but I don't think that transfers onto the skin at all so you don't end up looking disco ball-y or anything like that and I just think that they are amazing mixed together. I love the Saint Tropez one, I think that I actually might have mentioned it in last year's evening essentials video um, and I think this is my second one so I go through quite a few of these and I would definitely recommend them, they're really affordable and just give you the nicest kind of gradual tan. And then once I'm done with the majority of the beauty business, I just come into my living room, I get some food, I sit down, paint my nails, watch TV, all of that stuff, and I try and have a healthy snack when I sit down and kind of like have a little something to eat and stuff like that, but it always ends up being something a little bit more naughty, so 
My kind of healthy alternative to the naughty snack are these, and these are, let me just put my drink down, these are dark chocolate and ginger kind of bites. Um, I get them from the Free From section in Sainsbury's and they're so lovely. I think they're kind of like dairy and gluten free and all of that stuff. So it kind of just feels like a nicer treat, um, especially because I'm trying to cut down on dairy at the moment. These are lovely. And I also grab a drink and I usually just go for kind of like a lemony watery drink. And yes, I do actually drink my drinks out of jam jars and I sit and chill out. But some days, like last night, I was feeling really, really naughty and I went through some Oreos. Yep, that happened. And there is one left, which I'm saving for after this video. That's my reward. And me and the boyfriend also sat down and went through the Dairy Milk Marvelous mix-up, which I basically ate all of the Oreos out of this because um, the majority of milk chocolate I can't have, but the Oreos in this were good. They kind of had like chocolate dusting on them and I was like, this is good. So once I've got my snacks already, I sit down and I'll either watch a film or read a book. And if you couldn't have guessed, the book that I would be reading is A Song of Ice and Fire, A Feast for Crows, and I am about a third of the way through this book. Is that a third? That's not a third, that's a lie. I don't know, I'm, I'm a little bit of a way through this. Uh, it's taken me quite a while to read it because I obviously don't have the time to sit down and read a lot. But my boyfriend is a lot further, I think he's about halfway. And I really love the Game of Thrones books, they are my favourite. So yeah, so, so much love for these. And if I'm not reading it, then chances are I'm going to be watching the Game of Thrones series. We've got all four, I think, four, no, th all three. I'm not even sure. We've got basically everything that has been released on DVD so far on DVD and I just sit down and watch those and I just love Game of Thrones slash A Song of Ice and Fire. They are my favourite. But this week when I had my evening chill out I also dug out this and this is the Veronica Mars movie which I picked up I think last week and I've just been watching this like it just makes me feel so nostalgic because basically I don't know if anyone else hands up if you used to watch the, the TV series because that was my favourite thing. I was just so obsessed. I've actually got, I think I've got all the box sets over on um, my bookcase, but I just, I saw the film, it had been released. I don't know if it got released in the cinema over here, but not even sure, but I picked this up and I was just like, oh my God, it's just like going back to being 15 again. So I love this. It's kind of just like a standard film. It's not like anything like groundbreaking, but it's a good thing to kind of watch and paint your nails too. And speaking of painting nails, the nail polish that I've been loving using recently has been the Rimmel 60 Second Rita Ora Nail Polish. This is the shade White Hot Love and it's just literally a white nail polish but I've been loving white nail polish at the moment. I just think that it is kind of really neutral but in a non kind of nude way. I just really really like it. It goes with most of my outfits and I just it's so so easy to kind of wear. And then I've just been using the Seshvi top coat over that just once it's almost dry but it's still slightly tacky, just go over that and then it dries pretty much instantly. And yeah, I just love this stuff. It just makes your nails so shiny and so like long lasting and dries so quickly. It's just awesome, so I love this stuff. So that is it for my evening essentials, guys. I hope you enjoyed something slightly different from me. Sorry if my talking has been a little bit off today. I've been stumbling on my words because I have a massive lump on my lip and I can't actually speak properly. It's been driving me mad, so hopefully it hasn't really driven any of you mad. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.